Now, I'm going to introduce Aisha a bit more better because the first time I actually didn't turn her mic on. And if you know me, you know that this is probably something that I actually do on a regular is just, you know, you know, sometimes make mistakes, but you know, you got to live and you got to learn at the end of the day. So, Aisha, let us know about you. How old are you, first things first? Hi, I'm 22. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a spoken word artist. Okay, and poet. how long? A poet, yeah. right? So how long have you been doing that for? Um, three years, three years. So this is my third year still. Okay, so what's your poetry mainly like? Like what's the topics? Is it your own emotions? Is it on worldly things? Um, it's definitely my own emotions mostly and like, how worldly things affect me. I'm like a very emotional person, so all these news stories and stuff, like they, they affect me on a, an emotional level. So I definitely put all of that into my poetry. It's very personal to me, very like intimate. So do you ever get nervous like performing your poetry? Because I guess if it's your own personal feelings, it's kind of like you being like, hey world, this is how I feel. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely get nervous, but it's less, I'm not really so nervous about like, just expressing how I feel, more just like getting it out correctly the way I want to get it out. That's the, the thing I'm most nervous about because when I'm nervous, my heart rate be <laughs> crazy and sometimes I'll speak too fast and like I'll get like tongue tied. So just like trying to calm myself in that moment to get it all out nicely. Right, it's the kind of like getting in the zone. Yeah. I feel like I can like, I get that because sometimes I get on radio and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. then I'm like, Billie Jean, relax, slow like in. take your time, slow down. But I feel like those things make us human anyway. Do you know what I mean? We, we make mistakes. Sometimes we get our words like muddled up, but you know, we're still doing our best and I think that's the main thing. So what are you going to be performing today? Can you give us like a little bit of um, a brief before we get started? Because I'm so excited. Yeah, so I'll be performing a poem I have called Baby Boy. Um, there's a hook in there that you'll probably recognize. I'll leave you to figure that out when it gets to it. And it's just about um, like black boys growing up in today's society and how like the world conditions them to think and behave, basically. Okay, so that's what the piece you're speaking today is about? Yes. Oh my God, okay, Aisha. Aisha, are you ready? I'm ready. Let me just get a uh, drink of water. Drink your water up. Do you know what? I'm just about to gas you up. I'm about to put some sound <laughs> effects up in the building because we have Aisha, the spoken word artist, here today. And she's going to perform for us. So, Flex family, we've got to show us some love. <laughs> yeah. Oi, oi. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've literally been so excited for this all week. And I already know that you're going to absolutely love Aisha. I've actually seen her perform already. And let me tell you, 10 out of 10. Absolutely 10 out of 10. So Aisha can let us know when she is ready to go. Okay. And then we're going to get into it. I'm ready. Yeah? Yeah, the <gasps> instrumental starts like straight away. So okay. let me just hope I catch it. No, no, no. Time. Listen, we're not, we're not just hoping. Just disclaimer. You're, you're going to do it. I'm going to do you're it. Gonna do you're going to do it. Right. You're yeah? right. You're right. One, two... <laughs> Three, let's go. Baby boy, only 10 years old. Already aware that life will get you in its chokehold. So he holds all the hurt and the blood and the madness. Internally wanting to hide, but externally making sure everything's patterned. By the age of 12, he was going secondary school. Surrounding himself with some unmotivated fools. Never understood the benefits of being formal. So now he's getting isolated and excluded like it's normal. 14 started rocky, but there's no time to turn back. Brothers he once called brethren had stabbed him in the back. Took the life of his brother so now he's rolling with the mat Sirens ringing for the school day has come to an end But for baby boy his day is just about to begin Pedal bike into the shops ready to face his ops Attempting to avenge his friend's death by causing his own one See mummy struggle with her part See mummy feed the fam and leave herself to starve Wanna help his family but don't know where to start Black boy, black boy, had no time to play with toys. Black boy, black boy, took no time to know his soul. Black boy left his emotions out in the cold. He just reciprocates what he's being sold. Just a baby boy, but his body's laying breathless. Decay became his skin, his friends are wishing he would rest less. The devil's workers took him in. He couldn't keep running from this life of sin. So don't you run when you hear the sirens coming. 
Don't you hear the sirens coming? You better run when you hear the sirens coming Cause they will be coming for He comes from the motherland Amongst the finest of gold The oldest of souls But he's selling his soul In exchange for western wealth And designer clothes they had everything in place, put the drugs on ends and then defined us by our race. Modern slavery, the imprisonment of pigmented skin, either shackled to the trap or the bin. I know your mother, she's been stressing, brother moving reckless, got a sweet one on your line, but no time for all the pressures, trying to learn all of the lessons. It's getting hard to hear his message. So when you're losing, the hope to hold your head above the waters When you're choking, it opens up its jaws and you it swallows When the world thinks you've had your last defeat You'll be cutting your way through the belly of the beast His soul stood at heaven's gates His potential unlocked when he stared death in the face His fear is his fuel Lack of experience outweighed by his potential Cause we don't wanna run when you hear the sirens coming don't you hear the sirens coming? You better run when you hear the sirens coming Cause they're always coming for you Thank you O-M-G <laughs> No, seriously, if I had a round of applause Sound effect <laughs> Don't know if you could hear that, but I am clapping That was absolutely beautiful i mean you still have a minute and 36 seconds left so i feel oh. like maybe you should carry on and freestyle is that freestyle. is that a bit is that a bit rude to us oh my god <laughs> i mean i, I think we, pressure, i think you should pressure, do it pressure. Okay. i think i think you should do it you know okay i can't i can't freestyle cuz i'm okay. i'm not really a freestyler okay but okay but what i could just maybe drop a few bars on yes. this this uh, one let me we, we'd love to hear <gasps> it think of them now quick things quick no things. no no one you minute. got this you got this <laughs> Do, do, um, do. Um, um. Go, Aisha. Go, Aisha. Do, do, do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you got this. The mandom on their ends are not to be feared but admired. Their demeanor stands strong, though I know that they're tired. Outside the corner shop is where most reside with their Nike pouches, white air forces, and on their pedal bikes. School was never something they resonated with because there are certain things the teachers don't teach the kids, like how life is hard, but for them it will be harder because mommy lives in a council flat and daddy's skin's darker because they weren't born with silver spoons in their mouths because once you're in the game, it's hard to get out because white privilege isn't something they can experience and after time and growth they'll start to see the differences so instead of living life the way we're told we should by the bold white man in the suit that knows nothing of the hood we choose to be vacant and you can't blame them abusing illegal substances to help us feel numb no sign of a guardian angel to help us overcome all these difficult circumstances we weren't prepared for still trying our best to ignore those suicidal thoughts because we know a new day will dawn it's just how long will it take carrying so much weight on my shoulders my knees ache till my back breaks and we're not the type of people to ask for help we'd rather suffer in silence demons in our heads screaming like sirens in a tyrant growing in violence we didn't ask to be alive clocking in and out of our nine to five but now we've got to do all these things to survive i can't handle the responsibility of my own life wow. yeah wow <laughs> i just had to i literally just nearly forgot to turn my mic on absolutely beautiful honestly <laughs> wow you're absolutely amazing, and I Thank still you, can't sis. believe you're 22. Yeah, you've definitely been here before. You're an I've old been soul. Here many times, <laughs> yeah. many, too many times, I think. Well, because I feel like with how you deliver it, I just feel like it's it's easy to understand what you're talking about, and I feel like you deliver it deliver it in such a way that is so powerful, but yet so subtle. And I just think it's done so beautifully. We've even had a WhatsApp from. Oh, we had a WhatsApp from, if it's coming through, let me check on the screen. <laughs> it was from Dipak Patel, who said, hats off, amazing. And we had one from Emerge MC who put crown emoji, crown emoji, <laughs> crown emoji. She absolutely killed it. I mean, what's next for you, Aisha? What's next? Um, I'm working, still working on my EP, which okay. is like poetry and music combined. So similar to like the first one you just heard. So you're going to be singing 
and spoken word on yes, it. Yes. Wow. Exactly. Do you have any idea when you're dropping that? Do we get to know? I actually have no idea. So I cannot. <laughs> I told everyone last year that I was going to drop something last year and I didn't. So I'm not giving any more dates because then people are putting pressure on me. Yeah. So do you feel like you're just going to go with the flow with this then? Yeah, definitely. I want to take my time. Like it's very, like, very personal to me and I'm definitely like a perfectionist to an extent I'm an artist and you know I I I, I want to be concerned about what I'm putting out there I gotta make sure it's good enough or at least like I like it enough okay to so to it. kind of when you feel ready and you're comfortable with the art you've created then we're gonna basically be hearing an EP from you exactly what else have you got in the mix um so I run my own events in Peckham as well ATL's word on the street which is like poetry and music so we got more events coming coming out and I'm doing a writing workshop as well with some really sick authors and public speakers and stuff. Wow. So, so if lit. if someone's interested in getting involved, how would they go around getting involved? Like would they be able to follow you on Instagram? Yeah. Do you want to give your social so people can follow you? Definitely follow me on Instagram, Aisha Therese. So it's A I C H A Therese. And then you can also follow my events page, which is A T L S Word on the Street. Ooh, yes. get some sound effects. <laughs> Honestly, this is my go-to. <laughs> Well, honestly, Aisha, it's been absolutely amazing having you on. And you know what? Maybe we'll have you on again when you've got when your I've EP. Some yeah, yes, we could be playing it to. live on radio. Lit. Thank you so much. Up next, we're going to get into Brie Runway with Hot Hot.